hey guys welcome to ss unitech social this side and today we are going to see about the stored procedure activity so what is the stored procedure activity you can use the data transformation activity in the data factory or snaps pipeline to transform and process raw data into the predictions and insights the store procedure activity is one of the transformation activity that pipeline supports so for example in the input we are getting the raw data and we are loading that inside the SQL server table and if we want to do the some cleanup on that data so for that we have written the store procedure so in the same pipeline first we can load that raw data into the SQL server table and on the same page we can execute the store procedure that we have written for the cleanup activity so that is store procedure will take the input from your SQL Server table and loading into the final table. So on the same pipeline, we can achieve this by using the store procedure activity. Next, this article build on the transform data article, which present the general overview of the data transformation and the support transformation activities. Next, you can use the store procedure activity to invoke the store procedure in one of the following data store in your enterprise on an Azure VM. First is the Azure SQL database that we can use, Azure Snaps Analytics that we can also use, and third is the SQL Server database. So if your destination is any one of these, so we can use this store procedure activity. So if you are using SQL Server, then you need to install the self-hosted IR that we have already discussed in the previous videos. Now go to on the browser and we'll discuss about the requirement. So here, as we can see, we are under this blob storage. So under this blob storage, here we are having these set of files. So the requirement is if your file is not available, for example, if your employee file is not available and we want to load the data from this employee table. On that scenario, your pipeline will fail. So we can use the store procedure activity and by using the store procedure activity, we can check if file is not there, then we can insert the log inside the SQL Server table. So go to the SQL Server and here we are having one of this table that is the fail pipeline details. Let me try to execute it. So it is having four columns and as of now it does not have any data. So we have written one of the store procedure and this store procedure is taking four input parameters like error code, pipeline, error description and fail date and time. And simply we are inserting into this table which is the fail pipeline detail all these variable values. So this is we have already written inside the SQL Server. So now go to on the browser and we'll try to implement that practical. Go to on the data factory and here let me try to add a new pipeline and let me quickly call this pipeline as store procedure activity. So before going to start with the store procedure activity, if you haven't watched the get metadata activity and if condition activity, then I would strongly recommend to watch those videos because we are going to use those two in this video. So first we are required to use the get metadata activity. So this get metadata activity will be going to get all these file names from here. So let me go and try to create a new data set and this data set for the employed only. So let me call this as blob storage as this is the source file is the delimited. Now here link service, we have already created the link service, but I'm going to create a new one. Here we can go and we need to select the subscription. Then we need to select the storage account name that is the SSU testing. Now we can click on create. So it will be created a new link service. Now we can go on the containers here. We can see the file path. So container directory and file so we can browse under the input here we have this employee.txt file let me click on ok everything is ok click on ok so we have done with this data set part now here we can see the field list 
so under the field list we are going to check whether the file is available or not so we have to use the exist so that we can select now let me try to click on debug so this time as we have already seen file is there so the value of this exist will be true so let me click on this output and as we can see exist value is true now next we need to use the if condition activity so what if condition activity will do it will be checking this exist value is true or not so if that value is true then we want to copy the data if that value is not true then we want to execute the stop procedure so go to on the activities and under the expression here we need to set this and let me check this with the true value or not so we can use the bool like this let me click on ok so if file is there then it will be executing true block if file is not there then it will be executing false block so as of now in the true block i am not going to do anything let me quickly go in the false one first here we need to execute the stroke procedure so we can use the stroke procedure activity and now go to other settings and under this link service we need to select the link service so that is the we have already created so i am going to use the same here we can see the stroke procedure name as we have already seen we have created this stroke procedure so we need to select this from this drop down so as of now we have only this one stroke procedure so that's why only one is here let me select this now we can see the import so once we click on import so it will be importing all the parameters so as here we can see the error code error description failed date time pipeline so these parameters it is expecting so for the error code we can specify any value for example i am going to specify error 101 and here the error description so in the error description we can call this as the file is not available at the source so this will be your error description then we can see the failed date and time so this will be the current time when this pipeline will be executing so for that we can go in the function and here we can see the date time we should see utc function is here so let me try to get it the utc now so this one is there so that is okay click on okay so we have done for the failed date and time same thing we need to do for the pipeline so let me go on the system variable this time data factory name so we don't want data factory name we want pipeline name so pipeline name is here so we can select the pipeline name and click on okay so everything is done and if will be going to execute so it will not go in the false block because your source file is there so let me try to debug it i will show you and then after we'll be going to delete the emp file from the azure blob storage so here as we can see it's in queue it's executing in progress so it is executed successfully and here the exist value is true so if the exist value is true then it will go in the if condition and here it will be go under the true so we don't have anything in the true that's why it written from here now go back to the azure blob storage and try to delete this file click on okay so it is deleting the file from the blob storage so file is deleted now this time we want to execute so your exist will be false because file is not there so here we can see the get metadata output so exist value is false because your file is not there so on that scenario it will be going to go under the if condition and this is false so it will go in under the false and under the false we have one of the stop procedure activity so that's why you can see so it is executed successfully now go back to the ssms and let me check the table so previously we did not have the data but now we can see error code error description and the pipeline so this is the pipeline name and the failed date and time so this is the current date and time so this is the use of the stop procedure activity so you can use the stop procedure activity as per your requirement for the cleaning 
of the raw data or doing whatever because this is a very straightforward activity if you ha still have any doubt then you can drop your questions in the comment box i will try to respond there thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video